Welcome back folks, Barry Mountford here, in the studio, shooting a whiskey bottle. I thought it'd be a good idea to show you folks how I've achieved this shot. I'm going to show you how I light it and how you can achieve the same results with whatever light you have. So before I start showing the whole process of how it was lit, I'm going to flick the microphone around so I can talk into the back of the camera and you guys can hear us. I'm going to point you guys in the right direction. So here you go guys, you can see this is the pullback shot of the actual setup itself. I'll give it a little pan round. Now everything that I'm using in the shot, I will put links in the description below so you can check that out if you want to have a look at the gear that I'm using. The are affiliate links guys, it doesn't cost you anything, but I do get a little bit of a kickback when you guys use them. So I really appreciate that, so thanks very much in advance. So to talk you through it, I have a C stand here and I have on top of that, oh well, I've rolled out some tracing paper. And I have at the back, I have the City 600 sitting in a strip box which is bouncing through the tracing paper and giving a nice gradient light over on the side of the bottle. Now this light here is actually also firing through the tracing paper but that's wrapping around the bottle to illuminate the front of the bottle. Now you can see I've got them hanging from my, uh, my, DIY, my DIY pantograph system there. Um, I'll put a link in the description so you can check that out guys if you want to know how, how to make these nice and easy they are. And I've got the Pika 200 sitting in the optical snoot and inside that optical snoot I have the circle gobo, now that is lighting the label on the bottle, um, which is really effective. And then on the background, I lift that up there, I just have a light with a grid fitted, which is giving that nice glow to the actual background and just gives a little bit of separation and just makes it, just pops the image a bit more. Now I'm shooting with a Tequila 100mm lens, so if I get it down on the angle that I was at, this is me 24 to 70 on here now, but as you can see, that is kind of the angle I was at. And you can see the nice little gradient coming around the edge of the bottle from the, the City 600 modeling lamp there. Now I did want to achieve another gradient on the other side, another highlight on the other side, just at the bottle, the bottle top of the neck, just because it was kind of just falling away in the darkness. So I wanted to try and create a nice gradient now. So not having much space, I'm not able to set up another light. So what I've done was this mirror, see this mirror here, I just hold that mirror at the side. Let's get myself all focused here so you can see. And you can see the effect it has on the, the neck of the bottle. It's a bit difficult, I've got the light shine on the back wall there so you can see that harsh light coming down the middle, that's the reflection off the back wall where the lights the video light is on but you can see the effect it gives now you can use mirror you can use you can actually just get away with using a foil you can actually use white card pretty much whatever you want to get that reflection whatever works whatever looks best when you're actually doing this shot so that is it that was the the whole shot and the whole setup there and i think it looks quite effective so there you go folks that is the super simple whiskey shot setup nice and easy nice and straightforward now if you're somebody who only has one light and want to know how you can achieve this type of image with just one light, I'll pop a link to the video that I produced a while back showing how we can do that exact same thing, producing that shot with one light. Really effective. I'll also put a link to the uh, the pantograph ceiling DIY lighting rig that I put together a couple of years back. I've been using it ever since. It's been really effective and really handy in the studio. Something that I think a lot of people are appreciating. Um, so I'll put a link to that in the, the description as well so you can go and check that out. So I just wanted to put this behind the scenes together for you folks as I'm producing wet air new images for the website that I'm busy rebuilding. I just want a nice continuity of images on my website so I'm going to start putting together um, more behind the scenes of me shooting these for the website rather than just using shots I've shot for other people or clients or whatever. I want a continuity on the website, something that just flows and that looks nice. Something that I'm happy to look at so that's why I'm doing this and so as the journey progresses you guys can follow along and I'll show you all the behind the scenes as I'm doing it. So there you go. So I hope you've liked this video folks. If you have, you know, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and all that kind of stuff. You know what to do folks. That's it from me. I'll see you next time. See you then.